Hello, and welcome to POBYW episode 37. This is your commentator, Monotone Mike. So they, they have told me to introduce this new cup. This is the Rising Star Cup. The only requirement of this cup is that you not be a former SEK champion. Now I find this to be very discriminatory because I myself have been to the top of the mountain. And I know that the stipulation was put on just to keep me from holding it because everyone knows that I am the best wrestler in this fed. You know, lately, I've been on this crusade to save you all from yourselves. I saved Bubba from his drunkenness, or at least attempted to, but obviously that didn't work because he interfered in Montana Mike's match later that night. I tried to save KC from his sloth, but I'm pretty sure he's just laying around somewhere. Nobody appreciates me. All I ever do is try to help you. But you don't want to be helped. You just want to lead your sad, pathetic lives. I want to do more. I want to hold this cup. But you won't let me. Because you hate me. And do you know why you hate me? Because you hate yourselves. And this battle royal begins. In the ring is KC and the debut of Zodiac. Clothesline into the corner. And now a slam. Zodiac running around the ring like a wild animal. Night in some strikes. Picks him up. The DDT. Now he seems to have him in a half Boston Crab. While he bites the other leg. An unorthodox style from this new wrestler. And they're trying to throw KC over the top. Victory in this battle royal is by throwing your opponent through the ropes. Pinfall or submission. KC is starting to fight back now. Zodiac has not given up. Stomps him on the foot a couple of times. Now a suplex. Zodiac trying desperately to get Casey out. Lands some more strikes. Now stomping him. Casey's on the edge. Zodiac trying fiercely to push him out. KC is resisting. Some forearm shivers from Zodiac. Now once again, trying to get KC over the top rope. But it's not going to happen. Now more biting from Zodiac. STO from Zodiac takes KC down. Leg drop, or knee drop rather. And now Zodiac will try once again to push KC out. Unsuccessfully. Zodiac is wearing himself out trying to take out KC. Now KC with a big strike there. Now entering the ring, another debut. This is Night Stalker. We saw him briefly 
when Hulk Hogan was here a couple of episodes ago. Kick to the stomach from Night Stalker. Low drop kick. And Zodiac is the first wrestler eliminated. That leaves Night Stalker and KC in the ring. <coughs> Big kick from Night Stalker. Takes KC down. A one count. Now KC trying to go for a pin, it looks like. No count. One leg and leg drop from Night Stalker. Night Stalker taking his time. Big knee drop. You see, gets on top again. Struggling with Night Stalker, perhaps trying to take him out of the ring. Night Stalker is finally able to get Casey off of him. Wrestler will enter the ring. Right, Stalker with a stomp. Now with a stretch, trying to get the victory by submission. Casey is not tapping. And an escape. And Night Stalker is thrown down. I believe our next participant is making his way to the ring. And it is Employee of the Month. Stomps KC, saving Night Stalker, but then drops a saluting elbow on the Night Stalker. The employee would be better served to focus on one wrestler. Spinning salute to KC, but Night Stalker attacking the employee from behind. Big kick, sending Night Stalker reeling. Night Stalker exerting a lot of energy trying to take Casey down just as Zodiac had done. Now employee finding it very easy to put the boots to Night Stalker. Big time elbow drop there. And he simply pushes Night Stalker out. Dismissed. Easy elimination for Employee of the Month. And now he goes to work on KC. Some big elbows. You can just hear the impact. Now Fisherman Buster. One of Employee of the Month's trademarks. Now drops the saluting elbow. Goes for a pinball. Two count. Again, eliminations are by going through the ropes, pinfall, or submission. Drop kick sends employee down.
The employee marches his way across the ring and drops an elbow. Now setting him up on the top rope. Maybe going for that backpack stunner. And he hits it. That should be enough for a victory. He's going for the pin. KC gets out at two. KC's not getting into a whole lot of offense, but he's showing that he has a lot of heart. The employee's gonna go for that backpack stunner a second time. KC gets out of it. Takes employee down. The employee's right back on top of him. Now KC has employee against the ropes. He's trying to throw employee out. Employee's hanging on. Manages to get him off. Now KC back into the corner. Running forearm. KC plops down to the canvas. This may be employee's chance to finally eliminate KC. But now he's going to go for more punishment. Going for that backpack stunner a third time. And he definitely hit that one. Will it be enough to finally eliminate him? No, it won't. Two counts. Employee seems to be saluting the next competitor to enter the match. Employee now going for that Fishman Buster again. And we see Blizzard. Taking his time entering the ring. Nothing in the rules saying that you have to enter the ring the second you arrive there, I suppose. Employee continues to give punishment to Casey. Casey now has employee into the corner. But Blizzard there is the help out. It looks like we're going to have some teamwork here for the first time in the match. Blizzard and employee laying the boots to Casey. A saluting elbow from employee. Now showing some more teamwork. Casey has been in this match from the very beginning. Every competitor that's entered the ring has tried to eliminate him, but none have been able to. Now Blizzard hits the cold shoulder. He seems to have damaged both competitors, but he helps employee back up, only to send him crashing back down. And employee of the month will be eliminated. Will Blizzard finally be the one to eliminate KC? Or will KC actually be able to hold on and be the winner of this battle royal? Very nice move from Blizzard there. A lot of impact. Lays the boots to him. KC has taken an incredible amount of punishment in this battle royal. Blizzard continues to give punishment. Nobody can beat me. He doesn't seem this to be interested in actually eliminating him, though. Come. 
We finally have a pinfall. But not a three. Lizard seems to be frustrated. Is there nobody strong enough to eliminate KC? KC has zero victories in POBYW. Winning the Rising Star Cup would definitely slingshot his career. KC seems to be getting the better of Blizzard right now. Lizard slowly making his way back up. He has to be wondering right now what it's going to take. Everybody's given their best shot to KC, but nobody's been able to eliminate him. And that big elbow drop might be the move that does it. Lizard is wiped out. Stiff shots from Blizzard. Uh, no. KC seems to be moments from eliminating Blizzard right now. Our next competitor should be entering the ring any moment now. Cold Shoulder by Blizzard on KC. Unable to eliminate him, however. Well, if it isn't my dear friend Blizzard. Blizzard cannot be happy to see Glitch right now. <laughs> I don't think so. Blizzard and Glitch had an excellent match on the last episode. Some Muay Thai strikes by Glitch. I won this last year. I wasn't here last year. These are just full of rage. He wants desperately to defeat Glitch. Glitch is just taunting him now. Blizzard's rage is going to be his downfall, it looks like. Huge Hadouken from Glitch. And Blizzard is eliminated. Now get out of my ring. I have a better royal to repeat. I believe that's the first elimination by pinfall in this battle royal. Hello, my dear creation. Now we're down to just glitch and Casey. Today, you get to do me a little favor. You will die. Uh, 
Glitch was some raging of his own. How dare you disobey me? KC's not gonna give up. He's taken everybody's best shot up to this point, and not even his creator Glitch can kill off his dying spirit. Glitch unable to eliminate him. KC unable to eliminate Glitch. And now it is time to say goodbye. And KC is finally eliminated after a huge Hadouken from Glitch. I win again! I think you're forgetting somebody there, Glitch. This battle royal is not over. The final competitor enters the ring. Will Glitch repeat? and win this battle royal like he did last year? Or will it be Major Shadow that takes the Rising Star Cup? It's all an act. Shadow is the fresher of the two men. Especially after that spike DDT. And Major Shadow is the first ever Rising Star you. Cup champion. Give me my cup. I'm going to be the next champ. You know what that means? <laughs> Fluffy. Congratulations to Major Wanted. Shadow. Come get it. Thank you for watching POBYW episode 37. Next episode, the feud between Glitch and Blizzard continues with a no disqualification match. Also, the new Rising Star Cup champion, Major Shadow, will make his first cup defense. We will see you in two weeks.